We start this evening with breaking news. Former Maricopa County attorney Alistair Adele has died. Adele's husband shared the sad news in a statement saying in part, quote, my family and I are utterly heartbroken by this unimaginable loss. We are so very proud to call Alistair wife and mom, end quote. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mitch Carr. And I'm Rachel Cole. The last few months of Adele's life were challenging both personally and professionally. Team 12's Josh Sanders joins us now live from the Alert Center with more details on Adele's life and what we know about her passing. Josh. Hey, good evening. The family only saying that she died this morning due to health complications, but we do know she had been dealing with other health issues. Alistair Adele was once a beacon of justice in Maricopa County, making history as the first woman elected as county attorney in 2020. You know, we went to law school together back in 2001. You know, we've known each other 20 plus years. Her longtime friend and current director of investigations for the county attorney's office, Tom Van Dorn, devastated after finding out Adele died Saturday morning. If I had to say anything about my friend, just, you know, first and foremost, she was just a very loving mom. You know, a loving wife, you know, I mean, she dedicated her life to public service. You know, she loved her job. I'm so grateful for the love and support that I had and, and the amazing medical care I got as well. Adele entered office under health concerns, hitting her head on election night and undergoing emergency surgery for a blood clot in her brain. Her time in office faced with both personal and professional challenges. False charges against Black Lives Matter protesters as gang members, resulting in ongoing investigations and lawsuits. I am owning this, and even sitting here with you today and others um, to talk about um, my, my life um, moving forward in recovery. Then later acknowledging her fight with alcoholism and other mental health concerns. She resigned in March amid turmoil inside her office for failing to prosecute cases. Uh, that's very sad, very sad. Former Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley hired Adele when he was leading the office in 2006, supporting her in her election before ultimately joining calls for her to resign. Uh, she had, I mean, the world in front of her. It, it has to be so difficult, you know, for her husband and her two young boys. I mean, there's, you know, the thoughts and prayers are, are with them at this time, but there's not much you can really say when you lose somebody, you know, so close and somebody you love so much. Rachel Mitchell, who took over as interim county attorney after Adele's resignation, issued this statement today. I am heartbroken to learn of Alistair's passing. Her many years of service to our community leaves a legacy that impacted crime victims, first responders, and animals, just to name a few. My thoughts and prayers are with her family, friends, and this community that she loved so dearly. Adele was only 45 years old. She leaves behind a husband and two young boys. Live in the Alert Center, Josh Sanders, 12 News. Josh, thanks so much. Governor Doug Ducey also expressing his condolences, tweeting how very tragic the hearts and prayers of Arizonans are with Alistair's family, colleagues, and close friends. May she rest in peace. A look back now at Adele's time in office. She was appointed county attorney in October of 2019, and in November of 2020, voters elected her to a full term. It was on election night that she suffered a head injury and was in the hospital for more than a month. Then in September of 2021, she revealed she was dealing with alcoholism and eating disorders. She stepped away from her duties to seek treatment. And then just last month, after revelations of false charges against protesters, 180 cases left unprosecuted and pressure from her top deputies for how she was running the office, Adele resigned. Please stay with 12 News as we continue to cover the news on former County Attorney Alistair Adele's death.